Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Old Barn Homestead channel. My name is Gary, and it's been a while since I made a video on this channel, so I thought I'd just make one today and kind of panning around and give you guys a little look. This place is just falling apart, man. I mean, there's just stuff laying around everywhere. Projects aren't finished up, but uh, anyway, um, just, uh, you know, hey, I thought I'd give you guys an update. I, 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 got, I get the feeling from time to time that, uh, you know, maybe people are tired of watching my videos and watching what I have to offer, you know, because it's not really changing a lot for the most part. You know, when I was building the shop and buying the machines and getting things set up, uh, people were really watching a lot. And it seems like now, basically, I just kind of show the, a lot of the same kinds of stuff over and over. Cut something on the plasma table, bring it over here and paint it, or take it over there and weld it, you know, maybe a little bit of, you know, a tiny bit of machining lathe or mill, but not really any serious machining projects, you know, kind of thing. So, um, I just slacked way off on making the videos, kind of give people a break, but, um, so it's been a while and I just thought I would, uh, make a video here and, um, you know, get you guys caught up on stuff that's going on around here. Um, you guys may remember a series of videos uh, I made, you know, doing some stainless TIG welding. And um, so uh, building this uh, kind of a prototype uh, thing for a customer. And I'm under a disclosure agreement for it. So I can't really show it or talk about it. But I can show some of the work I'm doing on it because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with showing some stainless tubing and drilling some holes and welding it you know just can't show the finished product but um anyway i've i they they contacted me and said hey you know we really loved what you did uh we learned some information from from that and we want to make a couple of tweaks and here's you know from a cost saving standpoint here's what, how we want you to build these and uh so i'm building a few of them for them and i've just started working on that uh here the last week and I've, I gave them a firm commitment of getting all of them made and delivered in 30 days so you know it's a seven day a week uh, gig uh, to, to do that and I can't really work in other jobs and you know that kind of thing while I'm doing it because it's you know somebody contacted me and said hey you know I want you to make me a piece of, you know this metal art piece for a gift and um, and I'm like you know, to stop what I'm doing and get it designed up, cut it, get everything over, set up over here where I can paint it. It's just kind of like taking the day out because once you paint something, you know, you can't really do anything else in here to disturb the atmosphere and get dust and stuff going. So, um, so I just, you know, I can't take on any jobs until I get this done, which hopefully is a couple, couple more weeks. I'll have it done and, and get some of these other things done. But Anyway, um, the, uh, you, you guys might have saw the uh, project or the, uh, this thing, this 300 uh, movie sword thing that I did. It's kind of cool, fun to do. Um, I had some quarter inch plate on the table and there was a section of it left over. And I've been wanting to make some kind of, you know, knife, uh, kind of just funky, crazy thing for a while. And I actually made this probably about a month ago. And I've just been sitting on the footage of it and I finally uploaded it to the other channel. But, um, so here's some of the work and, oh, I was going to mention, you know, I was, I was really, uh, having a lot of problems getting the right weld set up for, for the stainless and, um, you know, and, uh, it was just a combination of, I think gas coverage, travel speed and, um, you know, um, and just the heat input that was really causing some issues and uh here's some uh parts of that of this project i'm working on that i did this weekend and uh i have some footage on this i'll probably edit it together and put it up but this gold like color here this is kind of what you want to see you know when you start to get the reds and the purples that's you're getting on up there in the in the heat and um you know, but you want the gold to clear color, um, as I understand it, on stainless. But I'm pretty happy with 
you know, the look of these. And this is kind of what I was getting. Let me show you a couple on this one. When I was getting set up over there and I welded the first couple, you can see this one right here and, you know, that one right there, how much, you know, heat affected zone is, is impacted. And then you look at that one, you know, it's almost none. See, that one's got more. I was, I was tweaking the settings down as I was working on them. I did do a couple of sample pieces, but apparently, you know, it takes me three or four or five times to do something. Um, so anyway, uh, pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, the other thing I'm working on now is uh, breaking drill bits. You know, that's my main uh, job over here is to just, just break as many drill bits as I can. Uh, little, little bitty guys like this one. I've broken about four or five of them, and these aren't cheap. These are, uh, these are some cobalt um, screw machine length or stub length drill bits. And uh, I finally broke down and made a drill guide that um, has prevented those from breaking. Um, this is kind of interesting. I'm going to do a separate video on this for the other channel, but um, this is a little uh, carbide center drill. And I don't, oh, here we go. No, there's a broke one here somewhere. Anyway, um, I ordered these, two of them for this, and you get, you know, basically two ends on a center drill. Um, oh, that one's, oh, there it is. It fell out in there. Oh, this is the broke one. Okay. So you see that one? Both ends of it are broke. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Let me, yeah. So, you know, um, and you can tell it's carbide, you know, it has, carbide has a certain look to it. It's kind of out of focus there a little bit. But um, these were, you know, I bought those on eBay. And they were listed as, um, they were listed as made in the USA, carbide center drills. And so I've got all this, you know, tubing to drill holes in. And then I'm coming back with uh, ink canal filter wire. So in Canel, uh, you know, in Canel 600 or, or NI 600, I guess is what these are called. Um, filling the hole back up, you know, drilling a hundred thousandths hole, uh, filling the hole back up and then re-drilling a 70 thousandths hole through it or 80 thousandths, uh, depending on which, which tube it is. And, um, so I was gonna drill the hundred thousandths hole, which the, the tip on the center drill is that it's a hundred thousandths. And the first tube, you know, as soon as I barely even touched it into the tube, it it shattered it. it, just shattered it right off of there. And the same thing as I was like, okay, well, I don't know what's going on with that, but I moved over and tried to drill another one, the same thing. And they're made in the USA, or at least that's what the ad claimed. So. Anyway, I got to contact that seller and see about getting uh, getting those sent back. It was only like $12 for two of them. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. But, you know, I was wanting to get started on the project, and it, it was a pain in the butt to have to, you know, shift gears on that. So, anyway, guys, I just thought I would uh, let you guys know what is going on there. Um Got a little project I'm helping a kid out that's got that bought a, a service bed for his F-250. And the bed is, I think it's brand new, but it was bare metal and flash rusted out in the you know elements. So um, we're uh, I'm helping him uh, get that painted and just charging him a little bit of money for it. And uh, the good thing is I don't have to paint it here. I gotta go on site and paint it. And um, so we're gonna do a white epoxy primer and then clear right over it you know he's on a budget doesn't have a lot of money to spend he's over there getting all the rust off of it so i ordered a clear coat in a gallon of that to to do that little job for him um but um anyway uh you see what we got going on out here um you know i've been borrowing my neighbor's uh kubota with a bush hog on it and i kind of you know it's getting up now where i need to cut it but i i, I don't um uh, and, this, and the fill lines for the septic tank are out there, and that's why those all spike up so high. Um, but I really kind of like it grown up like this, you know, because from the road, when you look back in here, you kind of see, you know, the shop a little bit, but it looks like it's all, you know, private and closed in. So, um, 
you know, I like it that way. But, you know, I can't go, you know, I can't let it just grow completely up, you know, snakes and mice and all kinds of crap, you know, tend to want to come around when you get everything grown up like that. So anyway, guys, I just thought I'd make a video uh, on this channel, give you guys a heads up on, uh, on just some stuff I'm working on. And, um, I was going to show this too. I've got some footage on this. I've been filming and, and making videos. I just, I don't know. I've just gotten the sense that nobody's really interested in seeing them. So I haven't really been putting them together. Uh, some of them I put together and put on Facebook. Those of you that follow me over there, uh, you know, see those little clips and things I put up. But uh, I've made progress on this. A couple of people have asked about it. Um, I still have more work to do and a little bit of redesign. Some of this stuff is just tacked together um, like that and, and this that I want to uh, redo a little bit. And I finally picked up the Harbor Freight uh, pipe threader. And that's going to power this jack here. And I've got to uh, make some kind of a, an adapter that will uh, adapt the, uh, the threader on, onto that. It's got a hex or a, an eight-sided um, you know, opening there that I've got to make something that, like a drive hub that will go onto this and then some kind of a mount. It comes with a mount that you can mount it to the pipe with. Um, oh, it's right there that will clamp on to, to a pipe, but it's this cylinder here is uh, too big for it. So I'm gonna come up with uh, some other way to mount that, and then we'll get this uh, finished up, which will be, a, I think, a cool little uh, project, and I may have plans on it. I may do a DIY kit. We'll see what the interest level is. I may offer it as a DIY kit and do like a 30-day offering on it, and if I get you know orders for it, I'll build it and fill them if only one or two come in you know because you're talking about quarter inch plate and lots of stuff and it's kind of hard to buy a full sheet of quarter inch plate uh, or even sections of it for just to fill one order you know there's quarter inch plate uh or yeah quarter inch plate three quarter inch plate and i think some eighth inch here and there so it's a lot of moving in and out of the table cutting a bunch of stuff just to fill an order or two um you know it's not really worth it to do that but if i were to put this up and people you know 20 people or 50 people wanted to make one of these and order the kits then i would buy all the stuff and get it get all the kits cut and made up and shipped out and um you know maybe make a few extras to fill future orders when they come in um so we'll offer it as a kit and if you know if only one or two ordered i'll probably just do a refund and give your money back and um, you know, let you get the plans if you want. So I have all the CAD drawings for the custom stuff that's on this, all the plates and brackets and all that and, uh, drawings and plans and stuff. So, man, I have rambled on. Um, and, um, anyway, so I'll try to, you know, I'm going to try to, you know, at least get a video a week out on this channel just to kind of give you guys a look at what all is going on. But, um, this uh, project is a, uh, is a good money maker and uh, I need to figure out, uh, you know, get the paint booth going. I finally probably have enough money to get the lights, to get it finished up. And I need to get a lawnmower. Um, you know, I don't even have a lawnmower. So I'm thinking about like, should I get some kind of like a, you know, small tractor type of lawnmower that. I can use to lift stuff with or should I just get like a larger zero turn you know kind of kick around ideas on that but um anyway guys that's it hope you guys have a good one